thanks for clicking on my channel, Joy's Way. I'm Joy. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning supporter of mine, welcome back, awesome person. So today I want to play with the Michaela Part 2 Glamlight 30 Color Palette. Um, for the most part, I got it fixed. Um, there's still a little bit here I didn't realize, so I'll fix that up later. But if any comes out, it's definitely not going to be as bad as it was before. So here is the beautiful palette. And if you can tell, I dug the blue one and the purple one a little bit when I was fixing it. So that's annoying. And I think today, how oh, mm, I think I'm going to play with I guess I'm just going to go ahead and use um, these colors here, but I do want a transition shade, so I'm going to use my Retro Love palette from Beauty Bay, and I'm going to use this color right here for the actual transition shade. And I'm going to also use my eye scene for the um, eye primer that I got from Glamlight. And this stuff, I believe it's like 10 or $11 for regular price. And I love it just as much as I do my Ace Beauté. And my Ace Beauté, I still have it, but I feel like I've had it for a couple of years and it's starting to dry out. And this is brand new and I'm loving it so much. It does not feel like concrete on my eyes. It holds the color. It's great. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on really quick. So I went ahead and got my eye primer on. I'm going to use the Love Me Do out of the um, Love Retro or Retro Love Beauty Bay palette. And I'm going to probably just show you what I'm using and just talk because like I have a lot to talk about. It's been a month and a day since I started working back at the bar and it has been so much fun and I do have some stories to tell you um which is super funny most of them are anyways so I work at the bar that I'm working at um from 2013 to the beginning of 2016 so um oh, god damn my cat I don't know every time every time I start recording she does this let me get rid of her for a minute Man, that is Panther, and I don't know what her problem is, but she just freaking scratched the hell out of me because I don't want her, like, it seems like every time I try to record lately, she could be outside, but there's ways for her to get in, like, we have our door open right now, so that way the dogs can run in and out, and it's like, she hears me talking, she knows nobody's home, because I usually record when nobody's home, um, and anyways, she comes in and just wants to bug me, wants to knock all my stuff off of the, um, my messy little counter here. And then usually I get to pick her up and take her out. But today, look, she fucking grabbed right a hold of me with her damn claws. Now she's also been fighting with all my other cats. And I feel like she's trying to become like the head cat, the alpha cat or something, but that's her mama catnip. And I don't think that's going to happen unless catnip gets super ill or, um, was to like pass away or something unexpectedly because catnip doesn't take no crap from her and when she's bullying all the other cats catnip whoops her ass honestly it's hilarious but anyways back to the bar so um it's been a month and a day i'm so excited i am so glad that i'm back there there's some things that are like completely different but for the most part everything is the same and i was telling you in my um one of my videos that I'm sure I'm going to post before this one that I don't really remember a lot of people's names, but I do remember their drink. So I will make up fake names just because, um, just to make sure that, you know, if somebody from my area watches, I can't get in trouble for using actual names. So, um, there was this guy and I actually thought that I knew his name cause he had an easy name and I thought his name was Bob. To the point to where I have called this man Bob for the last 10 years or whatever. And um, because even though I quit bartending, like in the town that I live in, we have, you know, a family dollar, a dollar general, a um, couple restaurants, a uh, convenience store, a gas station. So you tend to run into people even, you know, if you're not bartending 
or being their bartender and they're not your patrons. So we're going to say that Bob drinks Bud Light. Like I'm going to change everything around just so that way I can't get in trouble for nothing. But we're going to say that Bob drinks Bud Light. And so him and his wife, who, mind you, are also the owner, the male owner's um, dad and stepmom. And I don't think nobody, nobody's ever caught on until it was brought to my attention. Anyways, <laughs> so I see these, um, I see this couple a couple times a week, right? And um, I'm like, hey, Bob, Bud Light. And he's like, yes, ma'am. And then his wife, I always ask her because she likes a couple of different mixed cocktails. And sometimes she don't even drink any alcoholic beverages. She does have a iced tea or lemonade. So you don't really know what she is um, going to order realistically. So anyways, I always, you know, know what Bob wanted to drink because he was a, you know, a Bud Light drinker. Not really, but that, you know, is what I'm saying. Anyways, so after like two weeks of being back at the bar, um, they were eating one night and I was their bartender, you know, because you cook and you wait tables and you make drinks. And, um, I just happened to be doing it that night by myself, which was super duper awesome. Cause the person that I was working with had to call in and I, um, like working by myself cause that's where the money is. So anyways, towards the end of their meal, I'm like, go over to his wife and I'm like, Hey, I'm sorry. I have to ask you this, but can you please tell me your name again? Because I feel really bad that I know Bob's name and not yours. And she goes, she goes, my name is Denise and this is my husband, Lawrence. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like his name is not Bob. And she's like, no. And I'm like, I have been calling him Bob since 2013. Even when I wasn't working here, like <laughs> I was like, oh my Lord. So now I know that, um, their name his name is not Bob and it's Lawrence. And, um, I know her name now is Denise, which these are totally made up names, but anyways, uh, but yeah, so I thought that was so hilarious and, um, people are, you know, I'm telling other people like other regulars that knew who I thought Bob was. And then turns out like the reason that he never corrected me was because he was just tickled pink that I remembered what he drank and that I always brought him the right drink. Even if, even if we're busy, you know, and he just came in, like I knew to grab the Bud Light. Um, so, uh, anyways, that's why he never corrected me. So I thought that was so funny. I was like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> so there's me looking like a fool and it's hilarious. It's me looking like a hilarious fool at that because like, you know, shit happens or whatever. And then, um, let me see. I had, I should write this crap down because like, I knew what I wanted to talk about. And then like now, like as I'm here, I can't remember. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. But I do want to use this color right here. So let's do that. Oh, I love these brushes. Like I've been favoring them and I have like a whole box of clean brushes, but I also, I have a lot of brushes, but I also have like a whole box of dirty brushes on my counter. Like, as you can see behind me, like I have been so lazy. Um, this is the first time I filmed since like the first week that I started working back at the bar because I've been picking up extra shifts. Um, I'm that person. Like if I like my job, I'll work some days a week and not even complain. But since I haven't worked in so long, it's like my body, I've been fighting with my body or whatever. So the days that I do have off, you know, I'm doing minor cleaning, laundry, um, all that good stuff, but I've just totally been ignoring this. And since I can't think of any more bar jokes, like I also want to be like, I've been lazy about my moisturizer videos and my monthly declutter slash out my stash videos. And I do plan on getting back into those particular videos. Um, I just got, honestly, I just got really depressed when Dave went on the road. I'm used to him being in bed with me at night. And even though I grew up with a truck driver as a stepdad, um, I had never dated anybody that traveled, you know, because I'm a needy person and I need my significant other to come home to me at night and be in bed with me. 
because that's how I would sleep the best. So he's been doing this for, you know, like a month and a half now. Yeah, because he was on the road a couple of weeks, almost, well, three weeks, I think, almost a month when I started working back at the bar. So um, anyways, I was hoping that by going back to the bar that it would help me get out of my depression because um, when you have a depression and anxiety and, you know, all of that good stuff, you usually know it. Now, there's probably a few people out there that may not realize it because they're bucking the system and they haven't went to the doctors and they haven't seen a counselor or a therapist, they haven't tried to help themselves, but I know. And so because of that, like I just kind of went into a funk and I was doing my skincare and I was doing makeup. I just have been using pretty much the few new items that I've been getting in and what I already had for like my month of April makeup that I was going to use. But unfortunately I really haven't kept track of anything. Um, and so I know that I did a video a while back ago updating on the, um, well, okay, I didn't post it, but I recorded a video a while back ago um, updating you on my moisturizer, and I said, you know, I was having a hard time, okay, well, you don't know because you didn't see that video, but in that video, I said that I was having a hard time remembering to record the actual um, times that I used the moisturizer, and I couldn't understand it because it was so easy for me at that particular time to keep track of the makeup that I was using. And then next thing you know, I just wasn't keeping track of anything and I've wanted to, um, uh, record the videos and honestly, because of my depression, like I've been stopping myself and I'll think that I'm doing better and then Dave will come home and that's when I think I'm doing better and then he'll leave. And then when he leaves, it's like it kicks right back in. So that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this video right now because he's been home since late Saturday night. Sunday, um, we had a uh, graduation to do. My son, Sean, the second to the last um, child, and he graduated. So he had to be off the road for that. So that way... Um, but anyways, so he... He, um, uh, was back late Saturday night and then, um, oh, and I had to miss work Saturday cause I was supposed to work five to close and it would have been a really good money making night because the car show was in town. Unfortunately though, um, Dave, um, I put pictures in, he was driving down the road and his hood blew up. He don't know if the hood latch broke or if he accidentally, cause when he gets, um, gets gas like the hood latch and the gas latch are like inside the car door and you don't know if he accidentally hit it. But what he does know is he was going down the road doing like 75 miles an hour and the hood blew up and shattered his fucking windshield and thought he thought that um, for a brief second that somebody um, like hit him again, but he was like on a highway. And so he like, he knew that there was nobody in front of him, but it just scared him that much. And he did, you know, just um, a year and a half ago, have that accident. And so, um, that little freaked him out just a little bit, but then I had to take the, um, truck, the Chevy and go pick him up. So I had to call off work. That happened like around, um, 12, 12 30. I can't remember exactly. And I was supposed to be to work at five. I felt really bad. That's the first time that I've ever like, seriously, even when I worked there before I never called in like, cause I don't get sick and people think I'm lying, but I really, I'm not, I barely ever get sick. And if anything happens, I get like a little sinus infection, um, during, you know, sinus and allergy season, but I don't get actual colds. Hell when, um, the night, the, um, COVID-19 was going on, like my whole family, um, got it and I didn't three times. And I took care of them while they were all sick. And there was like five people in the house that had COVID and you're contagious and whatever for the whole 10 day thing. Right. And during those 10 days, I never got the COVID. So it's like, yeah, uh, I'm not that contagious. Like most people think, you know what I mean? I had to pull this off of the charger. Oh my God. I know I just recently told you how much I love this, but seriously, I freaking love this. I've charged this thing two times. It just got off the charger. Um, it lasts forever and you turn it on, you let it wait a minute. So what I am letting that, um, warm up, I'm going to go ahead and use my Juvia's Place, um, blush Rugi number two. 
and we're gonna go ahead lightly put that on here if you i don't know if you guys can tell but my cheeks are pink already so but they're patchy that's the um i don't know what it is i don't know if i have rosacea but i don't think so because i've this has happened to me my whole life and i go to the doctors i have a dermatologist and they've never once diagnosed me with rosacea so my skin just gets red and patchy or pink and patchy i don't know so that depends so i just like to put a little bit of blush to kind of blend it all together. Um, I've never really been much of a blush person, but I love this eye thing. And it's so easy to do. You just put it on like that. I'm like, it's so easy to do and I can't even see. All right. So you just put it on like that. And it just takes, you know, 15, 20, 30 seconds. I don't think I've ever had it on there more than 30 seconds. But I think the least amount that I've done it is about 15 seconds. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. And then I will be right back. So I thought that I had pushed play after I did my eyes when I finished up the rest of my face and I did not. I actually called it right as I was, you know, signing off. I went, oh, crapola. <laughs> I had it. I just didn't like, I don't know, like I pushed the button, but it just didn't take. So I did finish my eyes. I used the um, 4D lengthening thick curl mascara. This is the makeup that I got from Amazon, some of it. And I used my Beauty Creations, um, what is that? Cali Glow. Um, I used that for my highlight. This was one of my very first highlights that I fell in love with. It's definitely no Ofra highlight. It's not a popping highlight. It's more of a natural to me is what it looks, seems like highlight. And then I went ahead and I used my Too Faced uh, Melted Matte ta Talic for my lips because it's pinker and I don't know what the shade is. Um, it does not tell me. It doesn't. It's either it might be that number down there which i can't and it wouldn't be a joy video if i didn't drop something i thought i was going to not drop anything today but anyways i really didn't say anything important when i was doing the rest of my face um i completely forgot everything that i wanted to say i'm going to have to try to remember to take notes there um i do know that i was saying that um riri is pregnant again and stella is pregnant um my son Hunter, when he moved in, he took over Stella because I was going to try to find a new home for her. And um, so that is now his dog. When she went into heat, it was his responsibility to try to stop um, the male dog in the house, Doobie, because there's another male dog, Peanut. But Peanut, I think he wasn't old enough to understand what was going on. Thank God. But anyways, so Stella and um doobie hooked up and she's fat as hell if i remember i'll take a picture she's gonna have the babies any day now and then it was like a week and a half later riri started her um i guess period or whatever went into heat which was so weird because she had just went out of heat like three months prior to that and i had uh managed to keep doobie and riri away from each other that time that she went into heat by locking her in my room and that's what I was doing this time around and I also bought diapers diapers work great so blood don't get everywhere but diapers will not stop a male dog from connecting with a female dog because um I had Riri out with the diaper on and I thought for sure everything was going to be fine I even got a little bit of the bigger diapers to make sure it covered everything and duct taped it around her so it wouldn't fall off and Doobie was still able to connect with her and I was like son of a bitch so then I just went back to locking her up because I was locking her up but I wanted her to come out sometimes that's why I did the little diaper thing um and then one day we left went out to dinner David come off the road I actually had the day off at work we went out to eat and Doobie straight up broke our fucking bedroom door to get into Riri and they had to have connected again because, and I don't even know how many times because we were gone a couple of hours, but he didn't break the bedroom door to not get him some poot nanny from Riri because she was still in heat where Stella had already went out of heat because he'd already got her pregnant. So I have two female dogs that are like two weeks apart from delivering babies. One is about to have babies any day now. It has been... 56 days since the day they connected. I don't know exactly when she got pregnant, but the internet says that they're pregnant for 56, 58 days. So I'm adding like an extra seven days on 
you know, to give it time for the babies to have like the sperm, you know, all that. I don't know. Anyways, so I have tons of babies that are going to be coming and hopefully we get rid of them all. Um, rather we sell them or just rehome them for free because I don't want any more pets. I've got four dogs, five cats. No, one passed away. Actually, I forgot about that. So I've got four dogs. I've got four cats. I've got two birds. And now I've got, I think 14 chickens. I don't need any more animals, but all right. All I'm doing is running off at the mouth at the moment. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I do hope that you enjoyed watching me do my chitty chatty and get ready with me. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Remember that I do love you. Remain awesome and peace out. Awesome crew.